One CNC provides a comprehensive, powerful suite of tools for mill turn applications, including C axis, CY axis, and CYB axis. Now, in this first example, we're going to take a look at C axis. Now, to tell One CNC how you'd like to manufacture your part, you just head over to the NC manager, and from this option called Set Machining Axis, you can tell One CNC to perform axial machining, radial machining, C axis full, which is very much like surface machining. Here's your Y axis manufacturing and your B axis. It's as simple as that. Now, once you have your toolpath assigned, you can preview and you can simulate. Now, simulate will show you the stock being removed, and preview is going to show you your solid models, including all your fixturing and the toolpath. Why don't we take a look at preview first? I'm going to right hand mouse click and select preview. All right, now here's just a standard turning operation. And this is something that we've already seen in previous videos. I'm going to speed this up just a little bit. So here's some roughing. And then when we're finished with the roughing operation, we're going to perform just a finish operation and then a facing operation. Now the castings already has the hole in the center. So here's our axial work on the inside. You can perform pocketing, profiling, engraving, anything that you can standardly do with the standard mill package you can do with the C-axis. Here's some profiling along that triangular shape at the bottom. Now after that's completed, what we're going to do is take a different tool and perform some drilling on those three holes. This is just a finish pass. We left ten thousandths on that triangular shape to begin with, and now we're performing a finish pass. This can be sped up. You can slow this down. You can, of course, zoom in, zoom out, rotate, whatever you need to do. So here's the drilling. I'm going to speed this up just a little bit more here. So here's the drilling. Now we're going to change tools and perform some radial work. We're going to start to machine those orange pockets. So we're performing a helical move on the way in. This is just a traditional pocket, but we also support high-speed machining for your axial and radial work as well. Let's take a look now at another example of C-axis machining. We're going to take a look at C-axis full. All right. Now this is where we perform surface machining. So here's a part, and look at the white areas of this component. All right. So what we're going to do is let's simulate this. All right. So again, we're going to start off with just some simple roughing. We'll speed this up just a little bit. Okay. And now you can see what we're doing is we're performing surface machining using our C-axis. I'm going to rotate this around just a little bit. Now I'm actually cutting the material in the same direction to leave a nicer finish. Now I'm also cutting uh, collinear with the center line. Now you can also cut uh, circular around the part and you can also cut in a spiral if you'd like as well. Very very powerful. Let's take a look now at some Y-axis work. So here's a Y-axis component. And I have my fixturing on different layers. You can turn these layers on and off. You don't have to have the fixturing if you'd like, but they're very powerful. So let's preview this. So again, we're going to start off with just some simple roughing. So we're going to speed this up, just like before. And then we'll slow it down. Okay, now one thing to point out is that when I'm roughing, I'm also telling one CNC to take into account the shape of the stock. Now you can't see the stock here, but I created a solid model for stock, and I'm telling one CNC to respect that. And that's why we're not getting a lot of wasted air cuts as we're roughing out material here. I'm going to speed this up just a little bit more. So if I turn this sideways, you can kind of see this circular pattern that's taking place right here. So it's a very, very efficient way to remove material. So just remember, with it, one CNC, while you're performing your work, you can always take into account the shape of the stock. All right, so here's some Y-axis work. And we're going to speed this up just a little bit and let it fire on through here. After we're done machining, we're going to drill those two holes. And then we're going to index around and start to work on the other side. So again, I'm taking into account the shape of the stock. So if I turn this here, you can see that our toolpath respects that. And then we're going to perform some pocket work. Now let's take a look at B-axis. We'll head back up here. We'll select B-axis. Here's a component with our B-axis work. I'm going to right hand mouse click and let's go ahead and select preview on this. All right. Simple work there. Again, now what we're doing is we're indexing around and here is our roughing. And again, I'm telling one CNC to take account the shape of the stock. Now the stock is just a solid model that's in the shape, whatever shape I'd like, and I'm telling one CNC to respect that. So as you see up here, the toolpath isn't coming way outside. This is a very efficient way to manufacture. Of course, we support both high speed and traditional toolpath on this. Very, very fast, efficient, and it's very easy to do as well. 
Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.